Hey guys, my name is Thomas Brush. I'm the creator of a game called Pinstripe. I'm also working on a game called Once Upon a Coma. Now, I love making games. I've been doing it for 10 years. And I want to talk about something a little bit different than what my previous videos are. I've been thinking, well, I want to make something that's going to go viral, a video, maybe five steps to X, Y, and Z. But today, I want to talk to you about something that's very simple. And I want to talk to you about um, who you are. Okay, this might be sound like a little bit self-help motivational garbage. But just hear me out for just a second. Who are you, right? As an artist, uh, maybe as a game developer, as an entrepreneur, who do you see yourself as? See, when I was like 18 to probably 23 or 24, um, I, I saw myself through the lens of other people. People defined who I was. So I would look at maybe what my parents thought, which actually was pretty great. They were very great parents. Um, I looked at maybe family members or um, even friends and I was honestly very introverted I was ashamed I would never ever post a video like this online um, I would never dream of, of making a extremely personal game like pinstripe or once upon a coma and do a Kickstarter and do a video and really put myself out there because I was defining myself by what others thought so when you're constantly thinking about what other people think of you, suddenly your view of yourself is determined by what other people think. But I want to challenge that and actually flip that on its head. What if who you are is determined by what you think of who you are? So right now, right now, I would challenge you to think about who you want to be. Who are you? And right now, think about who do you want to be at the end of 2019? What is that vision of who you want to be at the end of 2019? Do you want to be a game developer? Do you want to release games? Do you want to be an entrepreneur, an artist? See, for me, at the end of 2019, I see myself releasing an incredible game called Once Upon a Coma that's wildly successful on all platforms. I see myself having a 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. Um, I see myself being continuing physical fitness and getting better at physical fitness um, and being a great father and a great dad, patient, never getting angry. That's who I see myself as. I'm not gonna let anyone else tell me who I am. So when I was about 25, and they say that about 25 years old is suddenly when the male brain matures. When I was 25 years old, I said to myself that I was gonna be an artist that I was gonna do this full time. And then I told myself that I was gonna be into physical fitness. That's what I was gonna do. I was gonna be a game developer and physically fit. I was gonna combine the two. And that was who I determined I was going to be. And part of this comes down to the fact of how you value yourself, okay? So right now, some of you look at yourself and you say, well, I'm not that valuable, so why should I actually pursue perfection? Why should I pursue um, dreams to their fullest extent? Well, I would challenge you and say that you are 100% infinitely more valuable than anyone could ever perceive. You are infinitely valuable. So start treating yourself that way. Treat your body and your mind and your skills and the work that you do with, with as much value as you truly are. And I know that sounds crazy to think. So I don't see any problem with looking at yourself in the mirror, looking deep down and saying, I am an incredible entrepreneur. I'm an incredible artist. I can work my butt off to make things happen for me. Um, I can become uh, 20 times, 30 times better than I was last year. So I wanna challenge you to not use other people as a mirror but start looking at yourself. Now, it is true that there are people in your life that you need to listen to. So for me, I listen to my dad and I listen to my wife. They are my full length mirrors, right? They tell me who I am and they help me determine how to become a better person. But I would be careful making everybody your full length mirror. Use people who are really close to you, who really wanna see um, you become better, um, as opposed to people who may be, might be a little bit um, jealous of who you are or, or not want to see you succeed. So all this said, I want to challenge you for 2019. If you guys want to be indie game developers to not only just pursue a mediocre indie game career, but to shoot for the moon, right? Don't let anyone else tell you what you should be doing. Look at yourself in the mirror after this video and say, I want to be the best indie game developer at the end of 2019. And heck, why not even go even further? Become a better person, right? Become a better friend. Um, commit to not being angry or frustrated or worrying. Um, or what about this? How about don't even complain in 2019? 
Um, commit to all sorts of wonderful, beautiful things, not determined what by what other people say you should do or what you should think, but by who you want to be. Because what's on the outside, what you do with your work, what you do with your body, what you do with your art form, that is not who you are. Who you are is inside. What's inside is infinitely more valuable than what's on the outside. But here's what's really cool. As human beings, we have the ability to change our environments. We have the ability to change ourselves and our future. We have the ability to plan and change things. So make what's inside match the outside, okay? That's my challenge for 2019. Don't listen to any critique um, that maybe brings you down. Obviously, it's good to listen to people who offer constructive criticism. But look at who you are. Um, based on what I'm saying right now, <laughs> listen to me, right? That's what I'm saying. No, I'm saying listen to, uh, listen to the, the simple concept that you're infinitely valuable. And, and make it happen. Make it work for you. All right, guys, my name is Thomas Brush. I'm the creator of a game called Pinstripe, also working on a game called Once Upon a Coma. I do live streaming every day of game development. I make games um, <clears throat> and sort of show people how I do it, and I love doing it that way. And uh, I also post vlogs about this kind of stuff. Today was Today's was a little bit more motivational, but some things um, are just simple steps about how to make games. Um, if you like this video, please subscribe, hit the bell icon, do all that cool stuff. And if you want to support on Patreon, that would mean the world to me. I actually offer coaching for indie game development. So if you want to get coached, head on over to Patreon. There's a tier there. And this might be great for 2019. Um, get some coaching from someone like me. And hopefully we can make great games together. Um, that's all I wanted to say. Thanks, guys. See ya. Bye.